With incredible advantages, Cardinal is currently ushering in a new era and keeping the entire crypto community on its toes. Welcome to Cardano Insider, where you can find the most recent Cardano ADA news. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to remain up to speed on exciting developments. Watch to the very end if you want to learn more. The enthusiasm is at its height right now, and it won't go away anytime soon. Cardona has found it challenging to avoid frequent philosophical analogies with one of his main competitors' blockchains. Many members of the ADA camp are upset over what they see as a delay and Cardano's promises and individual positive estimates. But that is about to alter. Let's hear it straight from the source. Cardano has officially entered a new era thanks to Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Everything Cardano needs for progress is going to happen with the implementation of the best hard fork. Named in honor of Street Devolve, a deceased member of the Cardano community who passed away in 2021. In addition to enabling scaling benefits, the upgrade is also luring investors into the Cardano ecosystem. Any hard fork could have a significant influence on the cryptocurrency, but they frequently cause volatility. In some instances, there will be disagreement within the community regarding the necessity of the hard fork and its influence. Additionally, a cryptocurrency's price is extremely unstable right before a hard fork. However, these unfavorable accounts have partially vanished into obscurity since the arrival of the vessel hard fork. Numerous forks of Bitcoin have already occurred, but they haven't had much of an impact on the cryptocurrency market. The first notable hard fork on Bitcoin was Bitcoin XT. At first, it attracted investors' attention and enjoyed success, but a short time later, the initiative lost users' interest and was shelved. The original website for Bitcoin XT has since been shut down. This pattern was present in the earlier forks and during the implementation of Segway in August 2017. The protocol change will have a second component, according to developers. It was planned to happen in November 2017 as a hard fork. However, a number of businesses and individuals who had previously supported the Segway protocol in the Bitcoin community have now chosen to drop out of the hard fork and the second component. This outcry prompted the creators of Segway to declare that their intended hard fork had been abandoned because of disagreements among earlier backers of the initiative. But with regard to Card Donald's hard forks, this has never been the case. The effects of earlier ones are still felt today, and there are still more to come. Cardano is well known for its emphasis on research. Three organizations, the Cardano Foundation, Mergo, and the blockchain software development company Input Output Global, support it. Together, they aim to advance Cardano along its dauntless development agenda. The precise plan was named after the heroes that the Cardano founders admired. After the full release of the Cardano Gogan in late 2021, which brought about the Alonso mainnet hard fork, the impact of the previous phase has so far been strongly felt. The Basho upgrade is the following phase in the Cardano roadmap. The Battle of Great Era is planned to increase the network scalability. This era has begun to expand his influence on Cardano by introducing secondary chains to relieve pressure on the main chain. The final stage of the network is starting with the debut of the Vessel Hard Fork after the Basho era, and the governance phase will provide a voting and treasury system to allow holders to have a more direct impact on the decentralized network. As Cardano moves away from handling IOH caseloads, by that time, the Cardano community will control it entirely. The Basho era is currently the main topic of discussion. It is not a huge issue whether the theory of the merge, which has been carried out, will jeopardize this new period, which has been unlocked by the vessel hard fork. Even though everything has been going well, not everyone is pleased with the improvement. Ethereum was never intended to be as difficult as it is, according to Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson, who did not hold back on his comments. Is it safe to infer that this new era will exploit Ethereum's newly discovered weakness to advance Cardano? What do you people think, really? In his open statement, Charles Hoskinson stated that there has been no change in performance, operational costs, or liquidity as a result of the merger. According to their release timetable, ETH 2.0 requires Shanghai, which is at least next year. 
my forecast is still accurate. You are aware that there have been no changes to performance, operating costs, or liquidity tweeted him. After a prolonged period of intensive buildup. On September 15th, the concept first came to me. The event was a turning point for Ethereum, according to the Ethereum founder Batalik Buteri, who also expressed his pride in the efforts of all those engaged in making it happen. By linking the proof-of-work execution layer to the proof-of-stake beacon chain consensus layer, which is already executing concurrently, the proof-of-work chain is rendered obsolete. Validators, not miners, are unquestionably required by proof-of-stake in order to verify transactions and safeguard the network. Critics claim that because the present requirement for becoming a validator on Ethereum is to stake 32 ETH, which requires a significant cash investment, only suitable financial entities may serve in this capacity. Since becoming a stake pool operator, also known as a Cardano validator, has a much lower entry barrier than switching to proof of stake, the Ethereum network will become more centralized as a result of the change. Data from Nansen shows that just five entities, including Lido, Kraken, Coinbase, Binance, and an unidentified entity control 64% of the state of the Ethereum network. Since there is no minimum ADA pledge level and everyone can afford the necessary gear, even small participants are encouraged to run stake pools. Hoskinson is now thinking about this. He expressed his worry that proof of stake will now be perceived as a highly centralized consensus method, which is untrue in the case of Cardano, following the merge. The Maximus will criticize Cardano for slicing and identifying all the ether ion problems as ours, he claimed. This argument asks the question of whether the vessel can be hard for XP theorem's errors. Now, everyone assumes that every proof of stake works like Ethereum is proof of stake. If this is done, Cardano's incredible goals will be obvious. Of course, the crypto community as a whole is in desperate need of a change of pace. When a user expressed worries about the viability of stows due to low staking incentives and drastically reduced transaction costs as a result of the vessel update, Cardano was able to address those concerns. Charles Hoskinson responded that sidechain would resolve the problem. By maintaining the sidechains and receiving payment in those native tokens, SPS will be able to generate several streams of income. There are already more than 6.1 million native tokens and 1107 projects using Cardano, which is evidence that Cardona is gradually growing his community of developers and blockchain enthusiasts. Additionally, introducing a sidechain to Cardano enables the creation of chances for Solidity language developers working on Ethereum. Developers may simply create dabs on top of Cardano using the Etherion virtual machine, for instance, and Cardona might someday turn into a developer's paradise. As the Cardano Plutus fundamental layer officially divides the code that powers smart contracts from the on-chain validation of transactions, the upcoming hard fork is also expected to bring a second version of the Cardano programming language, Plutus version 2. Cardona has frequently faced criticism because it is thought that his Layer 1 blockchain, with its growing decentralized finance communities, lags behind Ethereum and other Layer 1 blockchains in terms of smart contract capabilities. But unlike Ethereum, which relies on an account-based architecture as opposed to a bank, unspent transaction output, or UTEXO, is the foundation of the Cardano blockchain. The Cardano ledger has undergone significant improvements that will enable scripting contracts to use inputs and UTXOs without spinning them. The size of transactions that run reference scripts can be significantly decreased with a change in how they are handled. Cardano expands the accounting procedures used by Bitcoin to manage smart contracts known as EUTX. Therefore, the essential element when it comes to scaling and in terms of lowering the possibilities for attack and security breaches is to help keep as much functionality off the blockchain as possible. According to Bitcoin cryptocurrency, Cardano has attained a large amount of popularity. It will be thrilling to see Cardano Donald reveal even more profound advantages. The cost of an ADA coin will also be considered. We all understand that the market is in a bearish phase and that prices will continue to decline until a bull run begins. However, this does not imply that the story cannot be altered. We are unable to be sure. 
The focus right now is on Cardano and the value of his cryptocurrency. Cardano will take you on a voyage that is both exciting and energizing. But what do you think about this? Let's start with the below the fold comments section. In the following video, we'll see you. We want to be clear that this is not a platform created specifically to provide financial advice and we are not encouraging you to invest in any specific company. This is merely a delivery method for educational materials to be brought to your door. We'll see you soon on the top news site for cryptocurrencies, Cardano Insider.